What is up everyone? Today I'm going to show you how to upgrade the SSD storage space on this Asus ROG Strix G15 and this is the G513RC model which has a 68000HS Ryzen CPU, 16 gigs of RAM, originally 512 SSD and a 3050 in this. And it's pretty straightforward how to upgrade the M.2 memory on this but we do have to take a lot of the screws at the back so first things first I'm just going to go ahead and make sure this is turned off shut down here's the upgrade that I'm going to install the Lexa NM710 M.2 SSD and there is actually two M.2 slots on this laptop so I already have a 2 terabyte and then the original 512 so I'm replacing the 512 with this 2 terabyte Alexa so at the back here there's about 11 screws that we need to take off and um, I think the factory seal sticker was on this middle screw so if you do this you will void your warranty or guarantee all you need is a Phillips screwdriver and some like plastic uh, picks just because this is a plastic uh, case around here you don't want to scratch it or anything so let's go ahead and take off all of these screws Once you've got the screws off, I'm going to try and pry it open. There are clips around the edges. So the main thing that you need to worry about is the light strip at the bottom. So once you open this base, there will be a ribbon cable like in the middle. It connects the like Strix light, LED, RGB light around the bottom. Try not to be too aggressive, but unclip the hinges. So the back of back of it is now loose. We're gonna slightly lift it up and find out where the ribbon cable is. Right, so if I just lift it up slightly, I can see there's two ribbon cables. And they're super thin as well, so if you break these, you would have to buy a replacement somehow. So you just gotta lift up these, there's two tabs at the bottom. And we just lift these up. lower it and then pull them out pretty easy to take off a little bit harder to put back in there so that's the base off successfully and this is pretty thin plastic it's quite easy to kind of crack this is what it looks like, um, the insides of a G15 Strix. We've got the battery here. This is the 56 watt battery, not the 90 watt one. There's two DDR memory slots here, which you can actually change and they're not soldered in. So that's good. Some like thermal tape just over them. And then we've got the two M.2 slots here. The primary one is the 980 Pro which didn't come with it this is one that I added myself and then the generic I think this is a Samsung drive generic M.2 512 which we need to take out you've got your fans here I guess the uh, processor is here heat sink speakers on the side I think you can change this battery it does say do not disassemble but pretty sure you can just take this off and put a new battery in So 
this one um, the brand might be under the sticker here but it doesn't actually say okay it does say here it's a SanDisk 512 so this is a um, OEM SSD it has a thermal blob here which I can put on the other one it feels a bit like uh, chewing gum if you don't have this it doesn't really matter you can always get an M.2 that has a heatsink you won't have to worry about putting some thermal sticky gummy chewing gum sort of looking thing on it and this is just to space out I guess this is the Wi-Fi card so it's kind of making it lift up a little bit so it's not touching the Wi-Fi card Grab your screw and just make sure it's stable. Right, once you've installed that, make sure it's not moving about. And then just put the base back on, but need to make sure this is the right way. So the best way to remember is that the blue side of the uh, this ribbon cable Make sure the blue tab is facing towards you, or facing up. Just like so. There is a line where the blue tab is to tell you that it's the ribbon cable is actually fully in. So don't try and force it all the way and it should just slide and then catch and then pull the tabs down there we go now I'm not going to put the screws on just yet I'm going to turn it on and make sure that it all works alright so if, let's check if the M.2 is successfully installed and there it is two terabytes I've uh, already formatted it uh, yeah, simple as that. Uh, if you do have any questions, then please comment down below. And I hope this tutorial has been useful for you. And I'll see you again on another video.